Whoa, whoa, welcome to my first ever paper versus picture, motion picture that is, video. Today I'm going to be talking about Orca, the novel by Arthur Herzog, and Orca, the film by Michael Anderson. Let's dive right in and see which one gave the better result. They are very similar. A man goes out to capture an orca only to kill its mate by mistake. Now the whale must challenge the man to fight in the open sea. They've each got one point because both of the stories are worth telling, but which had the better outcome? Let's find out. I am starting off with the characters because I believe this is the most apparent difference between the book and the movie. The characters in the book are terrible. Arthur Herzog wrote Rachel's character out to be a smug shithead that turns into a weak warrior who only wishes for Jack to be with her and nothing more. She probably wouldn't even let him have a job in fear of him flirting with other women. Even though that's an assumption, it's a safe bet. Also, Jack is miserable. Especially when Annie is attacked. In the book, she not only works as a deckhand for him, but she is also Jack's little sister, who acts way too much like a child. I often forgot she was a grown woman, with a scumbag boyfriend whom skips town when they go off to hunt the whale. Unlike the movie where he joined them. In the movie, the characters were likable, and I cared about their safety. Sure, Nolan is an asshole for going after the whale, but you still have sympathized with his character in certain scenes. You can tell in the movie he's slowly losing his mind, or he's trying to deny what's happening to ease his pain. The point goes to the movie for the characters. I'd actually have to side with the book on this one. Although there weren't many kills, they were described better than the movie portrayed. The movie had some tacky kills, but they were largely due to the effects, which even though this is from the 70s, they weren't all that bad. Point goes to the book. The build-up to them fighting out at sea in the book is annoying. You already don't like these characters, and when only four of them go off on their journey, you can't help but hope they all die. The movie does it much better, especially with the fact that you see more of an expression of all sorts of emotions coming from Nolan's face in the movie, more than the book could ever wish to describe. The point goes again to the movie. Boring and annoying book versus beautiful and admirable movie. It is obvious who the winner is. I think the fact that the movie tried to be beautiful while the book tried to one-up everything from Jaws really affects the overall rating. Orca the book gets a 2 out of 5, and Orca the movie gets a 4 out of 5, in my opinion. And there it is! There are my thoughts on the book and movie of Orca. And I'm reviewing them individually for my next two videos. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.